I'm Doug Greco, and I'm running for mayor because our city needs a leader who fights for all Austinites, not big money, not big donors, and certainly not Governor Abbott. I will fight for working families, and I will stand up to the governor and state leaders when they attack our local decisions, our school funding, and our civil rights. I grew up in a working class town in the eastern coal region of Pennsylvania. I attended Brown University, and I came to Austin in the mid-90s and taught high school on the east side at Johnston High, now east side early college high. That's where I got involved in grassroots organizing. First or a member, as a member of the Teachers Union Education Austin, and then with Central Texas Interfaith, an organization I led for 12 years. During the pandemic, we built the political will at the city and the county to invest over 40 million in rental assistance and 200 million for permanent housing for those experiencing homelessness. And in 2021, I led the organizing effort with our state network to kill the state's largest corporate tax giveaway program. Chapter 313 took a billion dollars in potential money from school children, gave it instead to multinational oil and gas companies. I also served as chief of staff to state rep Gina Hinojosa. And in 2011, when a former student of mine was tragically murdered in Dove Springs along with her mother, hers was one of the record 27 anti-LGBTQ murders that year. As a gay man, I felt I needed to be more involved in the LGBTQ movement. And after completing two master's degrees, once at Princeton and one at USC, I became the program director for the nation's largest LGBTQ civil rights organization. I stepped down from Central Texas Interfaith this February to run for mayor for several reasons. Austin's affordability crisis is driving working families out of the city and out of the middle class. Since Mayor Watson was first elected in 1997, the cost of living has gone through the roof. We are the fastest growing city for millionaires. Our income inequality continues to increase, and our percentage of black and Latino residents continues to decrease. We need a laser focus on rebuilding the middle class with robust investments in education, workforce development, living wage jobs, and supporting unions, to affordable housing, rental and mortgage assistance, and housing for those experiencing homelessness. My own mom bought the house I grew up in in 1985 for $30,000, and in 2008 sold it for $15,000. I believe in the dignity of owning a home. I did think our housing code needed to be updated to create more housing at all levels of income, but what continues to drive up the cost of housing is that 40% of homes in Austin are bought by institutional investors, private equity, and venture capital. I will fight locally and at the state level to ensure that our housing policies benefit those who live here and plan to live here. Austin also needs a mayor who is willing to stand up to Greg Abbott and state leaders when our community, our local values are under attack. I will work with state leaders, but I won't work for them. And I won't stand with Abbott to bring DPS into our neighborhoods. I won't give his deputy chief of staff special favors for his kids' charter school. And I will not give my biggest fundraiser the job of running the city. I think all our public safety offers should be paid well through a contract, especially for the kind of work they do. And we also should immediately implement all elements of the Police Oversight Act, as well as robust community policing strategies. And I support Project Connect, and I'll be the mayor that brings it in on time and on budget. I've been endorsed by the LGBTQ plus Victory Fund, renowned labor and civil rights leader Dolores Huerta, whom I worked with in the LGBT movement, and a host of local community, labor, education, and elected leaders. And I'm running to be Austin's first openly LGBTQ mayor. We have a choice in this election. We can be a people of fate, or we can be a people of faith. If we're people of fate, then let's vote for the person who's running for his eighth election in 27 years. He's been there, done that, he knows best. Let's give him one more try. Or we can be a people of faith. Faith in democracy, faith in the agency of active citizens, in our collective power to solve issues like affordability and protect our civil rights, and to take the responsibility to shape the future of Austin and the state of Texas. That's the type of mayor I'll be. And I thank you. Please check out our campaign at grecoforaustin.com, and I ask you for your vote this fall.